I don't know. Not sure what happened. It was a little confusing, but it did finally come on. Oh, because I went on at 1130 and then nothing was happening. And then it said 1130 CDT. Oh, yeah. So we figured it was not 1130 Eastern time zone. Right. So I left. Okay. But, well, oh, okay. So I missed conversation. it. Oh, well. The guy who was on Aftershock. Mm -hmm. He was on the panel. Oh. I was okay. in tears. I just got finished one. <laughs> oh. But it was good. Oh, dang it. Hey, LaTanya. Hey, Yvonne. Melinda. I see her. Hi. Oh. Everybody doing okay today? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of bummed about the weather after so many <sighs> nice days. Yeah, I know, right? Yesterday and the day mm -hmm. before, now it's cold and rainy. <clears throat> Member Tally, hello. Hey, Cynthia, how you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Good. Mm, 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 mm. Is everyone else's screen like the agenda is really tiny? Yeah. Okay. It looks tiny. Like it's just floating. <laughs> how, how does it look now? It's it's weird. It's like Wayne County. Uh, the clerk is, I I don't know, it's something with like the view, I think. Okay, um, let me try to adjust it here. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment before we okay. get started. Hi, right, Chelsea. Good afternoon, how is everyone? Good, how are you? Good. That's, that's better. That's better. Okay. <laughs> That seems more normal. <laughs> We're going to wait a few more minutes for members to join. Hmm. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Summer. Good afternoon. Hey, Janice. Hey. <laughs> Okay, everyone, uh, good afternoon. This afternoon, this meeting will be uh, conducted by our wonderful Vice Chair, Cynthia Douglas. Okay, we're just trying to wait for a couple of our members to join. Okay, it is now three minutes after one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Hmm. Vice Chair Douglas, okay. I count that we have nine present. Okay, thank you. Let's get this meeting started at 12.03. Clerk, roll call. One more, there's one other person. Okay. Joining. Okay, we're ready to begin. Can you all hear me? Yes. Roll call, please. Member Wilson. Member Wilson. Member Tally. I'm here. Member, St sorry. No. no, star. Sorry, my apologies. Member Scott. Member Roberts has requested an excuse. Member Morose. Member Moore. Member Lugman. Member Lanto. Present. Member Joyner is also excused. Member Hines. Present. Member Gator. Present. Member Barnhill. Member Dahlb. Here. Member Collins. Present. Member Cash. Here. Member Baris. Vice Chair Douglas. Present. Chair Crawford. Um, present, but I'm in a different county. I'm in Bibb County. Thank you. Thank you. Did Member Joyner join the Zoom? Yes. Okay, just making sure that was her. <clears throat> we have a quorum present. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, next item, please. Next item, item B, approval of the March 14, 2024 meeting minutes. Okay. Um, I hope everyone had a chance to review the meeting minutes. Um, is there a motion to accept the minutes? Motion, motion to, to approve to Member Gator. Member Gator. Is there a second? Second. Member Cash. Cash, thank you. Okay, mm -hmm. it's been moved in second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Any, aye. any opposed? No? Okay. Next item. Item C, Vice Chair's remarks. Um, I don't have any remarks right now. Uh, well, just one. So I just got off of the um, call that we were talking about where Chair Bell was supposed to be speaking about maternal health um and it was the hurt the short that i heard it was very emotional one of the panelists was the gentleman that was on aftershock and he was giving his story and it was just <laughs> i i was telling people i just wiped my face because it was so emotional but um i hope that they recorded it so everybody could see it and uh, get a chance to view it so that's all my remarks next next item please item d wayne county commission update by Member Dahlp. Member Dahlp. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just one thing, uh, the housing resolution that we passed, I believe at our last meeting, was received and filed by the Wayne County Commission. And that's all I have. Thank you. Great. Thank you for the work that you did on that resolution. We really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, next item is committee reports. We decided to do committee reports early this time so that we would be able to have our quorum um, so that people can uh, vote on items that need to be voted on before the end of the meeting. So we're gonna move to our resource fair. Um, Member Gator, who is chair of the resource fair. I'm sorry, clerk. <laughs> no, you're fine. Member Gator. Uh oh, did we lose her? I think we lost her. Uh, she'll be coming right back in. Uh, I know Janice also has been assisting, but we'll wait for uh, Member Gator to return. 
Okay, we can move to uh, the volunteer portion if that's okay. Member Tally. Uh, yeah, so just some quick updates um, and kind of communicated this in our uh, resource fair committee meeting. Uh, we still need people to volunteer. Um, um, uh, Lindsay is uh, manning the event bright for the volunteers um, and I haven't got an update. The last update I got for her a few days ago is I think we were at nine volunteers. So we really do need volunteers to sign up. We really would, would love to have our Women's Commission members sign up to volunteer. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I was okay. waiting for the thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we really need our, our commissioner, I mean, our Women's Commission members to sign up. Um, and volunteer for that day. We have different different tiers and different shifts. Um, did we send? Did they get? Did the members of this body get the uh, save the day uh, flyer? They should have. Yes. Okay. So we really do need people to sign up. We need people to spread the word about the save the day. There's a QR code on there. We need people to uh, send it to your network, save it to your send it to your contacts. We need volunteers uh, to help man this event. Um, so we ask you to sign up on the Save the Day card. It has a QR code on there. Um, we're looking to potentially have a uh, Zoom volunteer meeting, uh, looking tentatively around April 20th. Um, but we need we need people to volunteer. We need to have a nice size um, amount of volunteers. We want to set that up for the 20th. And if you haven't signed up to volunteer, I'm asking you to please do so. Um, and what else did I have? Um, it's building, it's growing uh, slowly. And it did like this last year too. We got an influx of volunteers at the last minute. Um, but, you know, try to want to be more proactive and have volunteers on, on early on. But please, if you have not signed on, please go on the QR code and sign up to volunteer um, for this event. It, it represents us all. It represents us all. Um, so please, if you could, um, I know a lot of the members that are on here stayed the whole day last year. <laughs> We, we, it's shortened this year. It's only from 10 to 2. Um, I plan to be on there all day, and I know several members on here uh, that's part of the resource fair plan to be there all day. So if you could do all day, that's great. But if you can do a couple of hours just being a member of this body, just throw in a couple of hours of time to support this resource fair. We're all, this, we're all in this together. Um, so that's pretty much all I have. I'll get more details on the Zoom information to the Resource Fair Committee um, as we kind of see where our volunteers lay and we'll kind of go from there. But that's pretty much all I have. Thank you for that update. I see uh, Member Gator has joined back. Member Gator. I apologize, everyone. Thank you to the presiding chair. My reception kicked me out, but I'm back. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I was asked to give a report on where we are with the uh, planning committee for the Women's Resource Fair. Um, and so thank you, Tina, for jumping in and sharing about the volunteers. Uh, so I don't have to cover that, uh, but we are well on our way to having a very successful event. Uh, we are currently at about 43 participants, maybe 45 from the last time I checked. Uh, we have the capacity to have over 200. Uh, so that is what we're hoping to get. So please continue to share the event information out to all of your networks, everyone in the community who you touch. Uh, the event is scheduled to be held on April the 24th, which is on a Wednesday from 10 to 2 at Wayne County Community College Northwest Campus. And that is at 8200 West Otter Drive. Um, we are hoping to have over 80 participating companies there. Uh, so that includes those who are hiring and employing uh, people in our community. Uh, same goes for health and wellness companies. So that looks like mental health, maternal health, um, medical health, doing various types of preventative, preventative health screening. We also looking to host the Narcan, excuse me, a Narcan training. Um, so we're covering all areas of health and wellness, some housing, some education, and the new addition of skilled trades. So because we are partnering with WC3, they have a skilled trades sector um, and division of their school. So we made sure that we offered them tables and availability so we can make sure that they are represented well in their house. And so we're looking to have about 15 or 20 or of those in skilled trades. Um, we have reached out to different medias to make sure that we have the media coverage. Uh, some of our past WCWC members, we have asked them to be on board to support us. 
uh, because they were very instrumental in creating this vision, uh, speaking specifically to Dr. Regina Randall and our inaugural chair, Carmen Carter. Uh, Carmen is well-versed in media, so she's helping us do the release. So, you know, we have to do it proper and in order to make sure that it goes to our public relations department uh, in the county as well. Kudos to you, Cynthia, for making sure that we're well taken care of and everything that needs to go through the county. Kudos to Chair Crawford for making sure that we stay in line with everything that we need to do. We've been a wonderful committee, uh, very diligent in executing everything that needs to be done to make sure that, that we represent each other well. Um, and so that concludes most of the pertinent details of, of where we are in the fair. Uh, we're two weeks away, just shy of two weeks away. So we're tying up loose ends. Uh, we're gonna make sure that our vendors, um, that our participating companies slash vendors, uh, so we play around with that term a little bit because no one's selling anything. Uh, we are making sure that we invited a whole host of elected officials, elected or appointed officials, um, and then also feeding us as a body who will be there. Uh, so we're looking to have WC3 uh, cater the food, but we have to do that in a very feasible and economic fashion. So I can give you guys an update on that at a later date, but just to no let you know that we're also offering food to those select groups. And because we can't offer food on the main level where we'll be hosting the fair, uh, we're gonna stuff tote bags with very light refreshments to be able to give to the guests as they exit the fair. And we're gonna be packing and meeting as a planning committee. So if you wanna tag team on that, please let me know. We're gonna be meeting on the 21st to pack those tote bags. And then we're gonna do a final run through on Tuesday, um, probably starting around 4.35 o'clock, just to make sure that everything is set up to our life. Uh, Any Gator? questions from the yeah. members? Yes. Quick question. Yeah. Um, I got a call this morning. It was really interesting. Um, a lady who has a staffing solution wants to be a part of it. Not sure how she got the information. Um, she said she didn't have any mention. I'm not even sure how she got my number, but uh, wanted okay. to make sure we're good. Where do I need to refer her? Do um, can we do a? I mean, do we need a call? A summer, can I give her your number? <laughs> Forgive me if my reception is a little go, uh, is a little out. I'm in Georgia and the storms are crazy down here. Um, you sure can, you, or you can give her my email address. Uh, okay. I don't. I, I wanted to raise my hand, but I want to wait until you finish, so I'll comment after you finish. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, she needs to. Um, um, I'll give her your information because um, she just reached out to me today. And then the other thing, Cynthia, um, we had a, you know, we had such support from the staff at Wayne County. I uh, just want to make sure that did that communication go out to them again for volunteering? They they came out strong and they were amazing. Yeah, we uh, sent the notification and we'll do it again. I'll follow okay. up. Okay. Thank you. Um, Member Gator, are you putting a motion on the floor? I am. Um, and so the, to the presiding chair, I would like to present a motion. So I move that the Wayne County Women's Commission host the 2024 Women's Resource Fair to be held on April the 24th, 2024, from 10 to 2, with associated fees and costs to host the fair. I second that motion. Thank you. It's been moved and second. Any further discussion? Is it... Uh, Due to uh, Vice Chair Douglas, um, well, well, we'll do this one, and then I had another request. Okay. Um, can we add a friendly amendment to that um, motion, please, of the budget to not exceed 5000 Support. Is that okay, Member Gator? Can I do that? I'm yes. sorry, can you repeat so can we add the friendly amendment to the uh, motion to have the budget not to exceed 5,000? Sure, so thank you for that. And I will restate the motion. So I move that the women's, the Wayne County Women's Commission host the Women's Resource Fair to be held on April the 24th, 2024 from 10 to two at Wayne County Community College Northwest Campus with associated fees and costs to not exceed $4,500. I second the amended motion. Thank you. It's been moved and second. Any discussion? Um, this is Chair Crawford. Is it possible? On this motion, I support. 
I just had another question, but we'll, we may have to make a, a second, uh, another uh, motion on a different um, item around the Would same. That be brought up of... in discussion. Yes. It, um, basically. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, Chair. Oh, basically, um, is, has this motion been passed before I make my comment? Is it no? part okay, of the discussion? Nope. Go ahead. We'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. So it's been moved and second. Any further discussion on this motion? Okay. All in favor? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carries. Okay. Thank We're you. Thank you to this honorable body. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Um, Member Crawford, Chair Crawford. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, uh, Member Gator and Vaisha Douglas and Tina. Everybody, just thank you so, so much um, in regards to supporting this Wayne County Resource Fair. And if we would like to uh, see this particular item um, as part of our standing, um, as our standing or well, part of our standing work that we do with the Wayne County Women's Commission, um, open for discussion at this time, moving meaning going forward in our works as acting as the Wayne County Women's Commission. I'm sorry, repeat that again, Chair Crawford. Basically, with the Wayne County Women's Commission for the resource fair to be an annual event. Okay. Would it be possible? And I know I'm sorry if my reception is in and out. Uh, to have a quick discussion in the same, if we support or would like to see something like that going forward as an annual event. Okay. Um, Member Tally. Yeah. Um, I thought. I thought that it was because I think we've done a great job with it. Um, but if we need to discuss it, that's fine. I, I just want to say that this came as a result of Dr. Regina Randall and just want to give her her honor because she brought this fantastic, wonderful thing to our Wayne, Wayne County Women's Commission. Um, and it's been executed well the first year. The second year is being executed well by our chair, uh, Gator. And as we continue to grow it, if we continue to do it every year, it will continue to grow. Um, like I said, I've been getting calls um, and I'm, it's the, the word is spreading. The seeds are being planted and all it can do is get better from here. So yes, I'm in support of an annual Women's Resource Fair. Thank you, Member Tally. Member Dobb. Thank you, Madam Chair. I am going to not support the idea of making it, um, putting it in writing to be a required annual event. Um, I understand that this group is very enthusiastic about it and we want to do it annually, but you know, down the road, leadership may change, this members may change and for for those of us who are here now to say that this is something that the Wayne County Women's Commission should be doing every year. Um, I, I just, I don't think that we should put it saying that, you know, we should be doing this every year. I don't think that it's, it's a huge uh, lift to make a motion and say, you know, we're going to have a resource fair this year and vote on it real quick, um, just to make sure that it's a priority for the members who are, um, you know, on the commission every year, and just to kind of take a, a quick survey of what's going on in the county, and what are the priorities of the members. So that's my opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Chair Crawford. Yes, thank you very much, Commissioner Dobb, for that uh, feedback um, and uh, open discussion. I know that um, for this particular fair, we, says, we say this is the um, second annual, and I do know that um, listening and hearing feedback from the community uh, in various areas, uh, as well as um, others, they like the idea of, as we are you know, making headway as the Wayne County Women's Commission, our third you know, year in existence, just to have something as a staple, I'm pretty sure the name could change or we can do it in different capacities, but um, it doesn't necessarily have to always be about employment or 
um, resource, excuse me, employment, skilled trades, or health and wellness, but just to have something as a staple um, for mm-hmm. the Wayne County Women's Commission to have annually uh, so that it's like an all call for everyone uh, to participate in. We don't get a chance to really see one another, but it does show that we are unified as a commission to do the work to uh, to a cause. Thank you. Uh, I see a couple of hands, member Don. Thank you, Madam Chair, for allowing me to speak one more time. If we do approve a vote to make this an annual event, would that be something that we are putting into our bylaws that we are going to have this event every year? I don't believe that would be a bylaw option. I don't believe that we... Um, is attorney Parisian on the line? Or how, what, what yeah, would be how would be meaningful to us? Let me have attorney Parisian answer that. Thank you. Or Hi, should, good afternoon. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry, Chair. No, I didn't know if um, I should let member Hines go and she might have it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Absolutely. And then we can answer it all at one time. Sure, is that okay? Not member mm-hmm. Hines. Yes, I agree with um, Chair uh, Crawford. Um, just having, it doesn't have to be as intense. It doesn't have to be like everything included, but just some type of resource every year to so get it going, that momentum, it gets it going. You mm-hmm. know, because we got to, you know, as women's commissioners, we definitely want to make sure we have something available to the community, let them know we're doing mm-hmm. work. So it doesn't have to be as encompassing as so many events at one time, but at least one type of resource event, you know what I'm saying? Like an annual. Because it can be like something on like housing or employment or you know it doesn't have to be so many things but at least we're just doing something every year to look forward to and then the more we do it the more traction we get when you start you know doing it every year okay thank you member hines uh attorney parisian good afternoon to this honorable body um in terms of what you're looking to do as a body you're more than welcome to make a motion or to motion to change the bylaws, whatever this honorable body, the pleasure of the body seeks to do. However, each year you can change that. So it's at the will of this body. If you seek to have this be an annual event, um, you could vote on that. You could change the bylaws to include that. You're binding the body to move forward with that though. Just keep that in mind. However, it is something that can be amenable. The bylaws are a living, breathing document. Um, but it's at the will of this body if that's the choice that you guys want to go forward with. Well, I have a question. Thank you for that, Attorney Parisian. Um, sure. So I have a question for that. It, as long as we have a committee for the resource fair, and that is part of our committee, um, does that indicate that that will be an annual event? because we do have yes. a committee for the resource fair. Yes, right? so um, Vice so Chair Douglas, you are of- correct. Because the bylaws allow for you to create and disassemble committees, you currently have a committee created that organizes this event. And that's already in the bylaws. Well, the mm-hmm. committee is. The creation of the committee is something that doesn't change unless this body makes a motion to dissolve it. So yes, okay. each year moving forward, you will still continue to have this committee. So would that suffice for you, Chair Crawford? Is that acceptable? It, it is it is acceptable. I just wanted to make sure for the record, and, I, and thank you everyone for this great dialogue. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Dobb, and just everyone. Uh, this is a great dialogue, but it does help all of us to know that we would love to continue to do the work. And we just wanted to make sure I feel care, for clarification and what capacity, um, and we, we thank you. So yes, this is an opportunity and space to, to highlight us and to celebrate us at least once a year, all of us can come together if possible, yes. Yeah, and I thank everyone too for that discussion. And I really appreciate you, Chair Crawford, bringing that forward and uh, everybody with the discussion about that. But I think that we are on a good trajectory here. Mm -hmm. And this is just a wonderful event that we have every year along with all our other events um, that are coming up and that are gonna be moving forward. So. I'm just excited to see everything else that we're going to be doing. So um, 
Any more discussion? Chair Crawford, I saw your hand. Remember, to, Chair Crawford, I saw your hand first and then you took it down. <laughs> oh, ba basically, um, after this, I just wanted to make a quick, um, rec uh, quick statement about the employment committee through uh, uh, Gator, member Gator, but uh, let's let member Tyler go first. Thank you. After, after this discussion is concluded. Thank you. Member and I'm sorry. I'm just going to make this real brief. Um, I, um, um, and I said it all what, what I meant earlier is that this is uh, this is kind of like our signature event. You know, like you say, we got the other events going on, but this is like a signature event. It's a resource for the women of the Wayne of Wayne County, and it's a signature event. I feel it would be a great signature event for us. And as we continue to do it, it gets easier. The first year was kind of, you know, it was a little challenging because it was something new, and we had to get our hands around it and figure it out. This year is a little easier. I'm I'm hoping I'm right, Latanya, that it's a little bit easier this year. And then as we continue to do it, it smooths itself out because we continue to do it. The template is in place. We got a good template in place. And so it's going to make it easier to execute it. So I just want to put that final thing in there. I feel like it's our signature event and we got to keep it going. So, um, and that's my opinion. Yeah. And thank you for that, Member Tally. So is there any more discussion? Okay, hearing none, next item, please, Clark. Also, um, Vice Chair Douglas, let the record reflect that reflect that Member Scott has arrived. Oh, He's in the meeting. welcome, Member Scott. How are you? Um, did we want to take, take Chair Crawford's hand before we move to the oh, next item? Chair Crawford. Yes, um, before we go to the next item, just wanted to um, say thank you again, everyone, for your uh, support. And... With that being said, because we are the Wayne County Women's uh, Commission, we are still seeking employers uh, throughout Wayne County. Uh, we want to give them the last minute push until mm -hmm. next Thursday of August, excuse me, not August, oh my gosh, <laughs> um, uh, April 18th. So um, we just keep pushing. Um, I'm seeing some more people come in and great work, team. And so yes, the word is getting out there, I'm noticing. Mm -hmm. But again, we are really want to make sure that we highlight and cover all the Wayne County, all the way down to Brownstown, where Sherry is. Sherry Breeze is trying to help, you know, get the word out as well. So push, 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 and just send them mm -hmm. our way. And we're getting them confirmed that we have plenty of space to accommodate. Thank you so much, everyone. And if you're not able uh, to, um, we would love for you to be there, a part of our resource fair. But if you just absolutely cannot make it, um, on the 24th, please see if you can assist us with packing bags, some type of time of availability mm -hmm. um, to, uh, or if even the night before on the 23rd, uh, when we are setting up, we just, we would love to have your time. So again, those dates, I believe are the 21st for packing bags, uh, the 23rd for uh, pre-setup and of course our event is on the 24th. And I hope I didn't understand, uh, miss overset my steps uh member gator so thank you so much that's it thank you chair crawford um next item please next item e2 mental health committee report uh commissioner Dow. thank you madam chair um so i am going to give the it's actually for the health committee under the leadership of our chair, committee chair, LaTanya Gator. Um, so we have been working on putting together a panel discussion event um, focusing on mental health during and after pregnancy. And what we want to do is cover challenges um, you know, for mental health during prenatal and postpartum. Um, but we want to make it a little bit more uh, in-depth rather than just a discussion. You know, we all have, know about mental health awareness. There's a lot of that going on. But we, what we really want to give our audience is the tools to recognize um, and cope with these issues through expert guidance turning awareness into proactive support for themselves, their loved ones, and their community. So we're calling it from awareness to action, practical tools for maternal mental health. Um, 
I have more details. The event is scheduled for May 8th from 7 to 8 p.m. We have a wonderful host who is giving us a space for free at the Penn Theater in downtown Plymouth, which is a wonderful venue. And uh, we have some panelists scheduled already. Um, so working on some final details, I would love your support for this event. Um, I think it's gonna be really great. And, uh, you know, we have here at, in our, um, in our commission here, we've done some work on the, you know, maternal uh, health issues and racial disparity issues within maternal health. So we really wanted to focus on um, the mental health aspect of maternity issues. So I'd like to make a motion to approve this event and um, if there's a second, then we can open it up to discussion if anyone has any questions. Member Gator support. Okay, who did the second? Member Hines, second. Member Hines, okay. It's been moved and second. Um, and any discussion? Yeah, I have questions. Yes, yes Member Talley. So is this some this is for the this is a representative of the Wayne County Women's Commission? Yes. This is the first I've heard of. Have we seen this before, Member Dobb? I'm not don't no. remember. So this has been work that we've been doing in our committee. Got our it. Health, health committee. Mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. 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 That was my question. Thank you. Yeah. So we Thank wanted you. to get, you know, approval from the the full commission. And then I um we can send out more information. So pretty much you did the work and then you bring, now you bring it to the body for approval. Correct. Right. We've okay, done some initial, it... yeah, we've done some initial work on it, some planning okay. and then um, getting approval from, from everyone. Sounds good. No, to thank you for the out. clarity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Thank you, member Tally. Um, member Gator. Yeah. Thank you, Cynthia, uh, for the acknowledgement. So yes, I am the chair of the health and wellness committee, but if you guys remember, it was voted on by us as a body to have um, maternal health be a subcommittee. And so I just want to give all the credit to you, Commissioner Dobb. You, as the chair of that subcommittee, put forth this work. You guys have been doing a lot of the legwork. Yes, we have been meeting as a full committee to offer the support, but I couldn't take all the credit for this. Commissioner Dobb and her team have been doing phenomenal, and we collectively, as a committee, are bringing this forth to the commission as a recommendation and mm -hmm. as it relates to maternal mental health. So thank you, Commissioner Dobb and your team. Thank you, Member Gator. Um, I I will say I'm doing the initial work, but we as a committee will, I'm a, we're gonna bring it on home together. Thank you. Chair Crawford. Yes, and I would say thank you so much. Yes, Commissioner Dobb. I remember the great work on the movie Aftershock as well. I believe this is mental, a health, no, maternal health support uh, week, isn't it? I believe this is. Um, not sure, but either way it goes. Great work. Thank you for um that subcommittee. Thank you for keeping us uh, on task. We appreciate you. So I support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Thank you. Uh, next item, clerk. Thank next you, uh, Member Dobb. I'm sorry. Thank you for all the work and bringing this forth. So, next item, Member Clerk. Sorry. Item F under new business number one guest speaker Jacqueline Smith from Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Thank good you. Good morning. Um, <laughs> or should I say good afternoon? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have a bio for you, but Ms. Smith, you have the floor. Okay, no problem. That's okay. Things kind of went quick, so um, bear with me. And I'm just, you know, yeah. very appreciative to have gotten an invite to be here today by Chair Crawford. And I thank all of you ladies, the commission, for having me today. I do want to ask, how much time do I have? I see you all have a packed agenda, and I want to be cognizant of your time. What are you doing? Well, you have uh, at least until 
I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> it's 1237. So the difference is going to be whether I share a small, a, a short slide or just freestyle talk and make it quick and dirty, as one of oh. my managers would always say. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have at least until 10 minutes too. Is that good? Okay. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not so used to a uh, Zoom. Oh, never mind. It says that I can't share why someone else is sharing. So, you yeah. know what? Just one moment. Um, I can stop sharing and then you can share. Okay. So now we'll you should try. be able to share. I'm more accustomed to Teams, but we'll see. You know <laughs> how technology is. Is it um, possible for me to try now? Yes, you may try now. Okay, let me see. All right. Is that, can you guys see that? No. No. If you hit share oh, screen. You, you have to go. hit the bottom right. Okay. Yeah. Did it, did it come up? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So anyway. Can you tell us me, who you are first and then? Pardon me? Can you tell us who you are first? Give us a Yes, moment. I am. I'm about okay. to. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Jacqueline Smith and I'm a business relations consultant. I work for Michigan Rehabilitation Services, um, which is an agency within the state of Michigan. We are federally and state funded and our services are free to all. Um, we work with individuals that have um, like disabilities that have been determined to be so by a healthcare professional. And we start working with individuals in the high school setting all the way up to whatever age individual um, thinks that they still want to are, or you know, are willing or need to um, continue with employment. So, when you say vocational, it's all have to do with employment. We work with those people who are seeking employment, who are looking to advance their careers, who um, are returning to work because they've been off of work for various reasons, and also for those individuals who are looking to retain the employment that they have. So we are um, are in VR is nationwide. So every state has a vocational rehab agency. It may go by a little different name. Of course, here we're Michigan Rehabilitation Services and they are nation nationwide 56 general programs and 22 blind services agencies. But Michigan, we're lucky in the fact and blessed that we have both. Um, agencies. We have our sister agencies, which is the Bureau for Services for Blind Persons, and then, of course, uh, who I work for, Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Just want to talk about some of the services that we do. We work with businesses, and this is kind of like where this, this partnership and um, the correlation between us come in. You are the Women's Commission. You're looking to help you know, women move forward in the employment arena. And we work with businesses as well as other community partners, such as like Wayne County's uh, Women's Commission, to help to bring forth services that are, you know, technical and expertise, but consulting services to um, talk about occupational therapy and the things that um, they bring to the table with helping people to preserve their employment, the partnerships that we have with local businesses, such as some of your um, you know, local mom and pops, as well as your big box in industries or corporations like DTE and CBS and the healthcare systems. We also work with community partners that you may be familiar with, like um, the Michigan Economic um, Development Corp, Michigan Works, and just the pure Michigan talent, um, everything that is encompassed underneath that as well. A little bit about the division with the MRS that I work for. Um, we are um, located across the state. So my particular position, there are other consultants throughout the entire state that provide the services so that we can provide the, um, you know, the services that we provide to the businesses all over the state. It all can be mimicked all over the state. We are all licensed um, occupational therapists and um, um, CRCs, which is certified rehab counselors. I personally, I'm an MSW, a social worker, and most of us are all certified business uh, solutions professionals. And we um, work together in tangent to provide the services that you see on the screen. We work with the individuals that come in. And by the way, I don't think I said this, but our services are completely free. You only have to, um, it, it has nothing to do with income. It's just eligibility based, based on whether or not you have a disability. 
Um, we work with helping individuals with job placement, retention services, um, providing reasonable accommodations to help people keep the jobs that they have or, or kind of like equal the playing field. We help businesses with learning more about and preparing as well as implementing on the job trainings, um, on the job evaluations, apprenticeships, and just all sorts of things and anything that falls under employment services. And I do apologize. I know I'm speaking a little fast. And like I said, we can maybe plan for something a little later where it's a little bit more detailed about the service that we provide. Um, how does all of this come together and how does it work and how does it benefit businesses? When we intervene or come in to advocate or make you know, collaborations with businesses and community partners, together we can help benefits to profit and to, to benefit by adding a variety, a variety of perspectives, increase creativity to that business, you know, pro providing higher innovation, which leads to things like, you know, faster problem solving, better decision making, employee retention, uh, you know, a very important thing, and the reduction of that employee turnover, which in the end is total improvement, um, you know, to the bottom line of that organization. Michigan Rehabilitation Services, as I stated before, is nationwide, but in, in, I mean, it's statewide. So we are in 83, all 83 of the counties. And just um, recently, we have served back in 2020, you know, stats are, or data, data is always a couple of years behind, but approximately over 4,800 businesses back in 2020 in order to provide a number of those services whether it's retention or just consultation or helping to fulfill some of their open positions. In the department that I work for, the um, Business Network Division, these are just a small sample. Well, maybe it's not so small. We do provide a lot of different services, but these are a, a list of a lot of the different services that we can provide to a business. So it's important that as you are out and about. I mean, one of the reasons for me being here is one, to let you know that we exist um, and that you have someone, a contact person that if you, yourself, a loved one, a business, someone that, you know, that you're working with out in the community, the women that you're, you know, commissioning for and helping, if they are looking for these types of services, you have someone that you can reach out to and make sure that, you know, those things are, um, they're referred to where they need to go to get those services provided for them. But more, um, also, just as importantly as helping them, it's how we help each other, um, helping the business to grow and to maintain and to be of service to the people that you are serving within the community. Just wanna briefly talk about what a, um, you know, a disability is. When we talk about disability and the, the work that we do, we talk about the ADA's definition of a disability. And there's so much more to it to explain what all of this means, but just in short, because of time constraints, we are taking it um, in the context of the ADA to, for it to mean that a person with a disability is a person who has a physical or mental impairment that either can do one of three things. It can substantially limit one or more of their major life activities. We're talking about like putting your clothes on, um, you know, doing your hair, feeding yourself, things of that nature. It also can imp include a person who has a record or a history of, of, a hist of some type of impairment, even if they currently do not have that disability. A good example, and I know it's a little more convoluted to understand, but it could be someone who has dealt with a chronic illness that comes and goes in and out of remission, like cancer. So in, in, in a time you have, you know, this history of this impairment or this, this disability related issues, but in the moment you're in remission or hopefully for the rest of your life, you're in remission and yet you have a record, but it currently is not causing you any major um, disabling issues. And then the third one is a person who is perceived or regarded to have had a disability because of something that they went through in the past. And people have assumed that, oh, because they did went through this, say a major car accident, and now you walk with, say, an assistive walking device like a cane or a walker, uh, you know, an employer could assume, oh, because of their injuries, I don't think they're able to do the job. 
But I'm sure we all know, everyone here on this call know that that doesn't necessarily mean anything. When a person is willing and, and capable, they can do just as much as you can, you know, whether or not they're using some type of assistive device or not. So you might say to yourself, well, why is all of this important? If what I've said so far is, is not enough for you to, you know, start putting the pieces together, it's because basically Michigan Rehabilitation Services and the people that the Women's Commission serve and talk to every day, you yourself, your family members, your church people, your the Detroit residents, we are all interconnected. And our customers are also the people that you advocate for and vice versa. So it's always good to know about those resources within your community and everyone that, you know, like the major players and how to refer people to where they need to go. And I know, you know, it's always good to know somebody that knows somebody. <laughs> so with that, I just wanted to say um, thank you for having me. I know, like I said, I, I had to kind of do a quick and dirty. It just was meant to be like an introduction. And um, we do a lot of trainings of disability awareness and things of that nature. Um, Summer has my information. This is my information. Anybody feel free to reach out to me. I will um, just make one correction. I recently switched over to Oakland County, but I am still working with my Detroit area, Wayne County um, businesses and partnerships that I have developed. And Michigan, um, I'm sorry, the Wayne County's Women's Commission is one such partner that I will definitely continue to work with. Um, the only thing is now I'll be learning more and doing more with other um, community partners and businesses in Oakland County. And then my counterpart, who once was in Oakland, is now in Wayne. So we'll be working closely together. But if you have any questions about disability in general, you have any businesses that you're working with who you know need or have expressed a need for disability awareness training, please reach out to me. Um, if you need any questions about employment and vocational guidance and counseling, like I said, we are located three offices in Detroit alone. So feel free to reach out, email me, call me, and I'd like to thank you for allowing me this time to at least introduce myself and to give you a little insight into Michigan Rehabilitation Services. Well, we really appreciate you coming today. Um, does anyone have any questions? Yes. I can't see hands. Member Hines. I have Member Hines. Thank you. Member Hello. Hines. Hi, yeah, how so are you? Good, I'm so glad you're on right now because I'm actually in a situation like, um, I just recently lost the job and I got into a car accident oh, like on the okay. 22nd of March. And so the problem is, it's like, it's hard to find another job being in a car accident because I got, you know, a physical therapy four or five days a week. So could you guys help me like find a job because I'm out of work that's, right now with the accident? That's exactly what we do. And if, if going to work in this very moment is not what you're capable of doing, like say, because your doctor hasn't released you yet, you can still work with MRS. We can work with you along the way as we are, you know, doing whatever needs to happen to prepare you to be ready for when that day comes, because we're, we're hoping and praying that it's going to be soon. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to definitely get a hold of somebody from your office. Cause that's, I've been really stressed out. Cause that's the bad thing. Like when you're hurt, nobody want to hire you. Like, Oh, you are in an accident. You're a liability, you know, and you oh, can't yeah. stop car accidents. <laughs> Th that that is not a problem for us <laughs> thank you no problem here douglas well this is member gator I also had my hand raised okay member gator uh, thank you through the chair to jacqueline smith thank you so much for being here um, i say this all the time i'm a fellow therapist and a mental health advocate for over 10 years and i am a caregiver of an adult with autism and so I speak okay. on his behalf to say how wonderful MRS is and keeping my brother well intact and well informed and well supported. Um, so Very again, good. thank you and your team for everything that you guys do. I also okay. want to invite MRS to our Women's Resource Fair. So would you be the contact person I need to reach out to or the new Wayne County contact person? So let me tell you, you know, um, Chair Crawford is already on it, right? 
Um, I, when I got a summons for this, it was also, um, I supported last year. I think it's a, a great opportunity. And not that anybody asked my opinion whatsoever, but I do believe that it's something that you should continue. Something, you know, very much like it, if not exactly, so that it can, it is so needed. It is so needed. And um, yes, I've already invited some community partners. I think um, as a result of my inv invitation, DTE came last year. Um, and maybe one other organization who I'm not thinking of at this moment, I've already invited Aetna Healthcare. So yes, you already have an ally in me. And um, I am a woman born and, way, born and raised in Detroit. I do currently live in Oakland County, but that don't, not, that don't mean nothing. 313 is all through my blood. It's just about <laughs> semantics. <laughs> it's about that car insurance and stuff like that. <laughs> Well, thank you, Ms. Smith. I appreciate it. I'll touch base with Chair Crawford to get the information. Thank you. Okay, not a problem. Thank you, Member Gator. And, oh, I forgot. I am going to send the information because I am trying to uh, ensure that there's a MRS resource table there. I just haven't been able to um, confirm who to send it to. It will be um, the Wayne County, one of the Wayne County um, counselors. Okay. Sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. This is a Yes, thank you so much. Um, I was going to say, Jacqueline Smith, thank you so much. You know, I've, I used to work with her and next door to her and it has been a powerhouse, a great resource, not only for Wayne County, but th throughout the state of Michigan. And thank you so much for sending the referrals. Yes, she is pumping out our Wayne County Women's Resource Fair and we are seeing a partner. So Thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you for putting this presentation together. I know we're going to ask for you to come earlier in the year, but this is perfect timing. And mm -hmm. anything that can help our those um, who have disabilities and those who don't know that they can be employed, um, thank you for allowing this space and now and at a resource fair, letting them know that there is help. So we appreciate you. Thank you for the work thank and thank you, you for uh, speaking on uh, speaking for us today, speaking to us today. No problem, always here to support. I just wanna say one quick thing for both of the uh, young women that shared their stories, one who been there, done that and tried and true and is an advocate for MRS and someone else who was vulnerable enough, and I'm sorry, I didn't get your name, but vulnerable enough to share your personal story about disability related needs. That's, as it, you know, it takes a lot to do it for a lot of people and some people like myself, I am one with a disability and to be perfectly honest, we all probably have a disability some way or another. It's a difference between it being visible versus invisible. So just don't be ashamed, reach out if you have questions and I'm I'm always here and willing to you know, answer those questions or refer you to an expert if I'm not the one who, who can help you. So thank you for having me and good luck with the fair. I will be there so I will get a chance to see quite a few of you um, in person, maybe all. Thank you so much for that presentation. We really appreciate it. Um, no problem. Thank you. If there's no all more right. Have questions. Have a great day. Thank you. You do the same. Okay. Bye-bye. Look bye. forward to seeing you at the fair also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't come last year. I was already on vacation, like out of town. I was going to be out of town. But okay. this year I am here. So I will, I will be there. Thank you so much Perfect. for inviting me. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Next item, please. Next item, item G, unfinished business. There is none listed. Thank Moving to item H, such, such other matters as may be properly submitted before the committee. Thank Commission. you. Any members um, have anything additional to add? Member Gator. Member Gator. Oh. Thank you. It took me a minute to unmute. So thank you through the chair and through this body. It's not um, a business matter, but one that I feel is important to mention, and is that our, our chair, Chair Crawford, recently had a birthday. Her birthday was on April the 1st, so just wanted to give a public happy birthday to you and to everyone else who may also be having a birthday in the month of April. Thank you. Thank you, Member Gator. Happy birthday, Chair Crawford. Thank you. And thank you, everybody. Celebrating the birthday in April. Happy birthday as well. Thank you. Anyone else? Hearing none, next item. Item I, public comments. Does anyone on Zoom have any public comments? 
Anyone on Zoom? Any public comments? Anyone on Zoom with public comments? Did we get any emails, clerk? No emails were received. No emails. Okay. Okay. Next item. Item J adjournment. Okay. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Member Dobb. Support. Second. Member Gator. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Anybody want to stay? Hey, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> great job. Right, have a great day. Have a good Thank weekend.